What did you What did you love about playing in the NRL? What was the What was your favourite moments? You know, around training, the boys, um, games. What, what did you love about it? My favourite moment of the week um, was sitting in the sheds after the game, have, after a win, and having a beer. That That moment there, because your work's done for the week. That That is what you're judged on solely is is your performance on a weekend. So. When you could sit in there with your teammates and have a couple of beers after a game, that was the most enjoyable part for me because the work was done. Uh, you got your you know, job done, got the win. You didn't need to worry about next week yet. That didn't matter yet. So that was the, the time in the week where I thought, all right, this is where you can really just relax and it was a sense of relief that you got the job done and um, you didn't have to do, do the review yet. The review didn't really matter because you won. Like You can learn things from it, but you just, you'd go into it differently and then... Yeah, so far away from the next game that it doesn't matter just yet. So that moment right there is what I enjoyed. I can definitely, definitely agree with that. And I didn't probably didn't appreciate it till I got a bit older too. Yep. Um, so often, and the the more I went through my career, you'd see young guys get in, look on their phones, flick through, go in, have a shower, and get out of there. I was like, you'll miss. This is a thing you'll miss. Like I don't miss playing footy. Like I, I do, but that's not the number one thing I miss. It's that moment sitting around there having a beer after the game. That's the moment I miss the most. Yep. Definitely, I, I, that's one of the, my favourite things ever um, about what we do. What did you, what did you, what was your least favourite part? What did you not like around you know a certain training session, uh, you know travel, game um, preparation? Was there anything, uh, you know, a certain style of training that we have to do at training preseason <laughs> as a whole? <laughs> yeah. um, no, well, see, I liked travelling. The, the away games were fun because you go down, you're there for, what, two nights and you, you're away with all your mates. So it was, it was actually fun. I enjoyed it. Um, look, I didn't, yeah, I didn't love pre, no one loves pre-season. There's some guys who just live and breathe, love training and training hard and that just wasn't me. <laughs> so, uh, the 1.2, I, I, I was never a fan of that. Um, yeah. What was the PB in the 1.2? 448. Is this still... Once and yeah. it, funny story actually. The year I got that, so I had to be back and in in the halves. We then had to get under four fifty. Yep. I don't know what it is now. So I did it the first day back. Got four fifty four. So I'm like, oh, so close. <laughs> did it the following week, four fifty three. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then did it again, four fifty one. And then so you got to keep doing it until you get your target each week. And then finally, four weeks in, yeah, got just got under. Yeah, and I was ruined for the rest of the session. <laughs> there was nothing else. They got nothing else out of me. How how did you mentally get yourself up for things that you didn't like to do? Like I always say, you know, successful people have a habit of doing the things that failures don't like to do. That's a little quote I've heard. And I know there's a lot of things in the NRL which are unbelievably good and great. There's a lot of things that I guess are really tough, like you just said, pre-season. Like sometimes, you know, three and four sessions a day, early starts, late finishes, absolute grind, things that you you don't necessarily want to do but you do it and you, you get through it. So, you know, how, what type of stuff? Um, yeah, well, look, I was probably lucky because when I came into first grade, I was getting trained by Billy Johnson. So as an 18-year-old, because before I made my debut, the reason, what, well, they said, you're not, we don't think you're fit enough, so we need you to get fitter. So I was training Mondays back then, no matter how many minutes you played, Monday morning for everyone was conditioning, first thing back. Jeez. Um, so I was doing that, and then Tuesday morning, injured squad, they, I had to go for, I had to join in with the injured squad, so we'd go on a 50k ride around town on the Tuesday morning. Wednesday, they had a thing called the 50 club, so we'd do weights, 50 club during the day, which is if you didn't play 50 minutes of NRL, you had to do a cardio session, plus the opposed session that afternoon. Thursday was the day off, oh no, Thursday was contact and then captain's run Friday. So I was getting flogged. That was in season too. So getting through that gave me confidence that no matter what sessions we did, while I didn't necessarily enjoy it, I, I knew I could get through it. And I was probably more, uh, you know, I through my career, I, I've always said that I feel like I was very lucky with my career because to be honest, I didn't work harder than other people. I, I, I literally just enjoyed it. Like I, I loved going there every day because my mates were there. And I'd get through the hard stuff when we had to. I was never leading the fitness, never you know the best tackler and ever, anything like that. I just loved doing it. So I was very. I, I feel like I was lucky to get to do what I did. That's awesome. 